My name is Claire Morwood. I'm from Toronto downtown originally and um, I moved out west to Canmore in 2010, um, leaving uh, a high profile career in industrial commercial real estate and I had no idea what I was going to do. So I moved out west, uh, I met someone on a ski trip and I gave myself four to six months to figure it out, um, trying to find a career still in a mountain town. And um, just before I ran out of savings and I was going to move back home, um, I came across a marketing and sales job with Cisco, their head office in Calgary, and it turned into an eight-year career. So my clients were Canmore, Banff, Kananaskis, um, and after six years, I was relocated out to Ireland to work for Palace Foods, um, doing marketing and sales on the west out of Galway, sometimes in Dublin. And, um, and then I moved back to Vancouver in uh, October of last year, of 2018. Pretty cool. Oh, I want to come back to the Galway thing, but yeah. just like you said that specific 46 months, like that was so specific. So had you, had you planned it out literally like this is, that's my window. That's, in Canmore? Yeah. Like why? Uh, I just felt that should be the amount of time um, it takes to find work and I didn't want to be unrealistic if it if it wasn't going to work out for me there I, I didn't want to spend too much time um, and savings if, if it wasn't going to gel so I kind of had to set some sort of boundaries to be like if it doesn't work out if I'm not feeling good I'll move back to Toronto. So that yeah that was sort of an opportunity to make a big shift but you kind of hedged it in the sense of you always have, you know, you can always go back. I could always go back. I didn't want to go back. I was, for a long time, I was in Toronto and I was in, you know, my mid-twenties and something didn't feel right. I just felt it was a lot of effort to get out and get active. I wasn't meeting the kinds of people that wanted to do the activities I wanted and I just wasn't happy with the environment and the attitude there and Kenmore seemed like a great place to try again. And then how did the Galloway thing come about? So Cisco bought Palace Foods in 2009, originally owned by the Geary family. They started rearing turkeys um, in Ireland and turned into this broadline distributor. Someone needed you know, something else with a turkey so they sourced it and then they turned into a broadline distributor, the largest in Ireland. Uh, and Cisco purchased them and acquired them in 2009, but they still had their original owner-operator, Dan Geary, as president and CEO. So uh, in 2000 and, uh, 2016, they were looking for someone to come over from Canada and to kind of head up sales and marketing, upgrade like the CRM systems to Salesforce, which we were using at the time, and they put it out across, so it was about six months of interviews I was out in Dublin. I was like, oh, I'm just not feeling Dublin. I don't think I can do this. And then they offered me to be located in Galway with coming to Dublin maybe once or twice a month. And I've never been to Galway, but I said yes. So um, I stayed with the company technically and moved to Galway and it was fantastic. The two years went by really fast. Uh, I was asked to resign to stay on and I just felt um, the work wasn't really stretching me. It w I was just a bit complacent. Um, the stretch for me was being in a new country. I'd never lived in a new country and been there on my own, driving on the other side of the road, just understanding just, um, just different ways of interacting with people and still having to be professional with clients. And it was an interesting balance. You know, there's, um, it, it really, I grew a lot. And then after that two years, Kind of hit a point where I wasn't really anymore. So I thought if I stay here, not nothing's really going to change. So. so what's the intersection then between that from that point in time <laughs> to now, like uh, another, another shift? Yes. So Vancouver was uh, a choice we made to come. I have some close friends here. I was always interested um, in the climate and the connection to the ocean and the mountains. Um, there was never a reason for me to move here, so I thought, I'm not going to go back to Toronto. I know what's in Canmore. Let's try Vancouver and see, see what can happen. And I was offered to come back to Cisco. 
again moving back and I chose not to. And I spent the first few months looking for other work, going to interviews, but very similar marketing sales roles. I was just not excited. And uh, there's a lot of pressure, especially when I've never taken a break from work. People being like, well, wow, what are you gonna do? And how long has it been since you've been working? And you're, you're you know, starting to build and you're going, yeah, well, maybe I should just take one of these jobs, right? Um, and then I started, I took over my house in Canmore. I, I bought out my ex and I fixed it up and decided I was going to Airbnb it. So I was driving back to Canmore a lot. My family came out, we did a lot of hard work on the house um, and that got up and running. And as soon as that did, my birthday hit. And for my birthday, I got an introductory flight to BC Helicopters. Complete surprise. And uh, it was something that was given to me because my boyfriend remembered from when we first met that I was always interested in helicopters, specifically. Um, but I was never going to take the time to do it. I thought it was just, uh, it was just something that would be incredible and, and a wonderful career, but it wasn't something that I could just take the time out and do. So was that, like, I mean, you said that he had noticed that. Was that something like, um, that you were surfing YouTube videos or you had done, like did you do a helicopter tour in, in Banff area? No, I'd Nova? never been in a helicopter. Okay, so the intro flight was the first. That was my first. My mother was uh, doing her helicopter license in the 80s when she was getting sick in the air and she found out she was pregnant with me. So we always, you know, were around helicopters. She was in them a lot for industrial commercial real estate for clients back then before drones and um, and she always had this little the same as Goop the, the lime green helicopter with the white on her dash and her old Saab and we'd be in traffic downtown Toronto and she'd spin you know she'd spin the blades and be like let's just get out of here and, you know we'd be like yeah like what are we doing here in this traffic we belong up there and uh, she never completed it. So um, I've loved driving. I, I've always been interested in flight and aviation, but just never pursued it. I didn't think it was realistic. It always impressed me. I was, you know, I always almost admired it. And I just never considered it for myself. My mom actually passed away in 2014. And um, that's even more exciting because uh, I knew she would have been really pumped about this. And uh, that's just kind of the way she was. It's putting your energy and your finances towards something that's gonna build you or an experience. And she would have been really proud that as hard as it was to step away, um, you know, from the role that I had, that it just didn't feel like I was excited and there wasn't that wonder that you had when you were a child like just, this can't be it you know and since i've you know become a student pilot at bc helicopters i have that back and i haven't had that since i was really small